Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We just finished Jurilo 6 and now we're going to catch up with everyone and see where we're going next. We have to talk to Himoki here first and see what's gonna happen. I've missed her really, actually. I've missed seeing her. I missed being here, like, in general. The Hi, Himiko. The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds like a thread weaved into the life stories of others. The universe is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. Yeah. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. Himiko. Thank you for becoming our companion. Uh, I'll do my best to answer any thank questions. Thank you for having have. me. Thanks for your, your patience, Himiko. Welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it. Oh, thank you. Welt. So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. How do you feel? Mm, I feel tired. Be it joy or pain, success or regret, it's <laughs> all part of the We've journey. We've been through a lot already. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and one day you'll grow used to them. Thank you, Welt. Get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. Oh, everyone is so nice to us. <gasps> Pom Pom, oh my god, I've missed you so much. Little cute thing. Hi, Pom Pom. <laughs> Checking Star Rail stability. Pom Pom needs to focus. Oh, sorry. Good to see you too. <laughs> Spatial readout. Back to the normal bracket. Star Rail stability keeps rising. Fifty-six. That's a. That's good. Seven percent. That's a good sign. The numbers have stabilized. Dispatch the express. Let's go. Welcome, Welcome back to the express. You've accomplished your trailblaze mission. The Express appreciates your help. No biggie. When are we leaving, Conductor? Right away. To avoid encountering the anomalies again, the Express will dispatch shortly and head to a more stable area. That sounds good. I wonder where we're going. For your safety, please don't leave your seat until the Express has reached cruising speed. Tell that to March. Sit tight. The Express will be starting up soon. <gasps> I'm actually really excited to see where we're going. Hello? Hello? We hear you, Pom Pom. Time we hit the road, <laughs> passengers. Thanks to the three trailblazers, the activity of the Fragmentum has reached the lowest level, and the readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. You're welcome, of course. <laughs> Pom Pom will dispatch the Express shortly, and we'll be leaving Yorillo 6. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet. Oh, goodbye, Jarelo. We will be back to do our daily missions and chests and missions. So this is not the end. We have to remember that. Oh. The sh... Oh. Ching. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. <gasps> Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> oh. You are not one of them, Jin Yuan. Who's this man? <laughs> of five people. Oh no, Don Hong! What are you doing to him? Oh, damn. What a nightmare. Hold on. I'll, I'll be there soon. Um. What did I tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was about, but um. We trailblazers can go days without sleep, but when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. Anyway, days no without sleep, hello? In the corridor, the conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Same old location, apparently, and we can't be late. Let's head over. Oh, by the way, you mm -hmm. drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. Of course. Well, what was that all about? Morning. You're very punctual. And a wonderful morning to you, Himiko. Oh, I can't remember the last time I got such a polite response. 
I got you, girl, of course. The blazing of Eurelo 6 <laughs> is drawn to a close, and the Astral Express must depart for the next planet. <gasps> yeah, let's go! What's the next planet like? Not telling yet. Mm. We'll make an official announcement in the meeting, but I'm keeping you in suspense for now. <sighs> the meeting will start soon. Passengers, the warp navigation meeting has officially begun. Ooh, yay! <laughs> Firstly, Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the Nameless, for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? Who would have thought? <laughs> I did not expect our journey to go that route that it did, but, uh, mm. It's time for your conductor. <clears throat> Me we know. <laughs> He's so cute. Stop. stop. The name of the next stop. Long time no see, Astro. Oh my god. Crew. Oh my god. Kafka, baby. Kafka. Oh my god. I came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? Oh my god! Apologies for interrupting your little get together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request. Oh, she's so freaking. Give me. Oh my I'd god. I'd like you to make a destination alteration. Huh? Destination alteration? Before, Stellaron Hunter, even if it was only on a corporation wanted poster, they were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive? Do you know the figure? What is she doing here? Doesn't concern me. Then again, a corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger oh, the she's compliment. so damn hot. Oh my god. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny. Leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. Oh, she's not known for that. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you astral expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps uh, next uh, time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person. I, I want to. And we can continue our little discussion. Kafka being here right now caught me off guard. Like, I... Have you guys heard of the Lawfu? Lawfu? No. <laughs> the Xianzhou Lawfu? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Xianzhou Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But... What you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Okay. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the loft. Oh, no. Oh. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Okay. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knight. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Well, hello there. Blade, you said? Hmm? Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst. Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? Uh, is there anything in this for us? No! Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. How can you not and listen to Kafka? Really too much for them to handle? Oh, guys, I'm weak. Express, I'm weak for her. 
on stealing super specialists. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Law Fu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers. You benevolent, nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he perished too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. I don't think we have a choice. I think we have to go. <laughs> Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <gasps> Goodbye, Kafka. It's been a pleasure seeing you again. I love you. Bye. Bye, Kafka. <sighs> March. Get oh. Don Hung. Don Hung, wake up. Whoa, what are you doing here? Chill, March. What the hell? <laughs> Sup? I gave him the lowdown. <gasps> hey, remember what I said, okay? We're gonna vote against it. I'm not gonna take orders from that woman. That woman? How dare you, March? How dare you? Are you okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, I'm up to speed. He just had a nightmare about that blade guy. I'm pretty sure. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo Wait, do we, do we actually have a choice? And that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. Mm. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth, but we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. Understandable. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. Three, two. I believe Kafka, one. like blindly. Uh, wait, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Three against two. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Zhou. I wonder why Don Hong said no, though. Didn't you say you were voting against it? <sighs> I calmed down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Now's the time for thinking about other people. <laughs> 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 oh, how suddenly principled of you. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we're all used to March's modus operandi by now. So, Don Hung, you want to stay here? Yes. I'm staying this time. I wonder why. This is kind of sus, my dude. In that case, Welt, ready for a trailblazing Wait, expedition? Are, you, are they coming with us this time? Out there for a while now, but make Ooh. sure you take good care of the two of them. Oh, it's Welt only. Okay. Don't worry. Oh my god, Weld, yay! I like this. Here we, come. we can get to know Weld a little bit. The train is about to make the jump. Five, okay. Four, three, two, one. one. And we're gone. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> So that's a Xianzhou ship? It looks even bigger than your Relo 6! For the Xianzhou, these ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. 
Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. This Yanzhou Alliance is one such civilization. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. <laughs> you okay there? What's with all the lonely nostalgia vibes? Yeah, I feel like he's been here before, or is he from here? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Xianzhou territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Lofu Skyport. Starskip. Oh, it's laggy. <laughs> Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Uh, awaiting, yeah. Mm hmm. <sighs> Something's not right. The signal is still repeating. But no one is guiding us into dock. Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. It seems like something really did happen to the Sienjo. Oh no. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, loads of horror movies start? <laughs> I don't know what kind of movies you've seen. Don't worry, Marge is gonna be fine. Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Please wait, transfer. Uh, can you turn that off, please? Still the automated signal? Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, there we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Sianjo La Fu. Welcome, guests from afar. Please proceed to dock in accordance with the guidance. Thank you. Huh? Is this still automated? The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. Well, that means we can just dock, I guess. We should get going. Himiko, stay vigilant back here on the express. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. Trailblazers, assemble! Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. Let's go! Oh my god, that- Oh, wow! That's so cool! Before we set off, I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. Okay. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot to consider, and a lot to doubt. But the most important part of this expedition is... Uh, is of course sampling the delicious delicacies. Of course, right? Always thinking with your stomach. What about all the scenic photo opportunities? The Stellaron Hunters clearly have ulterior motives. <laughs> However, knowing what they're all about, and given the focus of Kafka's words, I have no doubt that the Sienjo is dealing with a Stellaron. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. But as trailblazers, we're not in this for fame or gain. We just need to do everything in our power to assist the Sienjo and eliminate the source of disaster. Always keep that in mind. And don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. Yeah, okay, okay. Yes, yes, got it well. Thank you. Yeah! Let's go. That's... Yay! Oh my gosh! Oh, look. It's just containers as far as the eye can see. This area isn't for receiving guests. It's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. <laughs> yep, someone opened the gate for us. Huh. Ah, stop talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. You're pretty decisive. That's Mr. Yang. This is child's play for him. He's dealt with all kinds of dangers before. Yeah, I've heard he's an OG of this whole punk hype universe, so... Let's move. Keep your wits about you. Whoa. What's going on? What, what are they fighting? I can't see anything. Uh, there are wounded everywhere. The silver lining is that 
Based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters... Miss Tingyun, fall back! Wow! Oh my god, that's the girl! I've tried oh, her in the there. trials. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's some cool looking enemies, though. Miss Tingyun, oh, yeah. the Mara struck have been repelled, but, but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Oh, she's so pretty. Allow us to escort you back wow. to the Skyfaring Commission immediately. Calm down. I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. Hey, girly. <laughs> My name is Ting Yun. I'm mm. the ambassador for the Law Fu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? Of course. The illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... Uh, I'm the galactic baseballer. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown, since none of you are Sienjo residents. May I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to oh. escort you out. Please don't. We called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Yeah. Hmm. Please don't kick us out. With the Astral Express. Yeah, we know about it. You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. We're famous. <laughs> Let's go. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. All right. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun, to help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. <laughs> your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Well, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted, too. Come on now. Oh, she's I'll so ready. precious. Wow. Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to ask. Favor? Count me out. March, what if we chill! Get wrong and you get your cloud cronies <laughs> to throw us in jail? I shouldn't have doubted you. Please accept my apologies. Our road ahead is barricaded. Do you see? Uh, the soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. Let's push them aside together. I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Even with all of us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Not that I'm doubting your skill, but I'd feel terrible if you hurt yourself. Oh, that's process. very kind of you, Tingyun. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the trove of verdure can be moved around using a control panel. You've already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Should be simple, right? Right, so why don't you do it? Oh, I'm afraid I'm not built for hard labor. <laughs> Uh okay. She sure knows how to boss people around. It's it's a f it's fine when they're hot. She's hot too, to so she's allowed. Haven, and we'll be safe. Oh look at this place. Wow. This is such a different vibe from Jarilo. Oh finally! Look how many tail hairs I lost on the way! 
beautiful tail. Yeah, what is she actually? Is she a fox? He had a difficult start, but things got easier. Look, that's the barge I was talking about. Oh, can we ride that thing? I'm driving. Uh -huh. Just sit back and relax. All Amicassiters know their way around oh, man. the skiff. Come on. Oh, I was perfectly calm until she volunteered to help. Please take your seats, everyone. We'll be off right away. March, you're so... You're so pessimistic. Come on. Cheer up. Gonna be fine. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Wow. This is so On different. Of the Sky Faring Commission, allow me to welcome you to Star Skiff Haven. Star Skiff Haven. Lofu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Sky Faring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lofu. As the biggest port on the ship, Star Skiff Haven is governed by the Sky Faring Commission, too. You definitely sound like a. Uh, what was it again? Oh, Amy Cassiter. By which I mean, nice speech. That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. Hmm. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally, I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first and report your arrival to Madame Yukon. All right. Palace of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Sky Faring Commission. Let's hurry. We haven't got much time. But what's the hurry, though? I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. <laughs> she sounds like a scary woman to me. Sounds scary. <sighs> I thought you said she was kind-hearted. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Very well. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. Wow. Wow. These characters. Oh, little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. I can't keep up with her. Uh, I've spent too long on the bench. <laughs> Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. <laughs> well, it sounds so old <laughs> when he's talking. <laughs> Let's have a look around the city. Not so fast. I want to explore. To give you two a heads up first. Oh. Our meeting with Madame Yukong won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. Okay. She is a top <laughs> Sienjo leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all Oh over no, again? another Kokolia? Kokolia part two? Are you saying that Madame Yukong is the new Madame Kokolia? No, the Sienjo Alliance <laughs> is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to Estelaron? Who leaked their information to us? Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Huh, crud. One of us is gonna blurt something out or get something wrong, I just know it. Mr. Yang should do the talking. Good idea. <laughs> we can be his cheerleaders in the background. Yay! That's what I do best. <laughs> Let's not do that. Aw, oh, man. Don't worry. We'll find a way through. Let me do the talking. Nice. Ting Yun. Oh, you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madame Yukong is expecting you. Are you not coming? I've brought the Madam Helmmaster up to speed. It's over to you now. Hmm. All right. We'll be fine, I think. Yes, Madam. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. I can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Is that her? 
Greetings. It is her, Yukon. Wow. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. She looks good. But since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person. I like her outfit a lot. And politely decline your proposal. <gasps> what? What? Why? The Sienjo Alliance knows what a Stellaron is and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. Are you sure about that? We have been around for over 8,000 years and weathered countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? Oh, she looks really good. Look at that outfit. I really like her outfit. Wow. From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, mm -hmm. and we've only come here to lend you that experience. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Sienjo Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Come on. Uh, but... Never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Sienjo Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. I'm afraid that's impossible. Hmm? Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskiff Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you Ooh, to include about that? that link to a Stellaron? I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate. Before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silver. Oh, Silver Wolf! A member of the Stellar <gasps> Hunters. Oh, it's been so long we've seen her. What say you in your defense? Oh my gosh, what are we gonna say? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I don't think it's. I don't think we're gonna say it. from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. Oh. Don't be too harsh, you gong. If this gets out, Hello? the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. Well, who is this? General Jing Yuan. It's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. But why are they all like holographic though? Can't they just be here in person? <laughs> General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guests of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Law Fu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xian Zhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Come on. Of course. We can help. It would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Oh. Please, after you. A favor? Oh, she's not happy about it. Ah, <sighs> the Astral Express. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. How delightful to come face to face with its passengers. Mm. It's an honor to meet you, General. Uh, may I ask what the favor you spoke of is? Ah, uh, a matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago, who goes by the name of Blade. Ooh, we've seen him? During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka, who has oh. managed to hide aboard the ship. Oh. 
As for where that transmission was destined... Um, um, yeah, who, uh, I don't know, who knows? Who would know that? Why would we know that? <laughs> I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. Oh, The Divination crap. Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron hunters to sow dissent between us. Yeah, that's that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've been framed. We can handle the Stellaron, <laughs> but it will take time and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. And it's this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, the bigger the threat she will pose. But Since why? Since the Stellaron hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu, <gasps> with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. Yeah, how are we going to do that, though? <laughs> Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us, reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron hunters, and help us understand their connection to the Stellaron burst. What say you, my astral guest? Well, we'll take it. Hmm. What do you think? What I think? I think we don't really have a choice, really. <laughs> of course you do. You can be strangers and simply walk away. But I feel you wish to help the Sienjo. I guess. Who never fails to reward that which is given. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal, then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. Thank you. We have to discuss this. Damn, he's tall! I think we only scratched the surface of this General Jing Yuan. Do you think there's something strange about him? I don't know about strange, but my gut tells me something is off. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Uh, why rely on us? The Sienjo is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster, so why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron? Maybe they didn't capture him. I'm so smart. Could Blade have escaped? Yes. Actually, I am conclusion. so I can smart. What's going on? Blade had already escaped when <gasps> Jing Yuan spoke to us, provided they even captured him in the first place. Uh huh. Therefore, given our connection, he's to Kafka, out there somewhere. We represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. That's why he asked for our help. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. Mm hmm. We're so smart, Walt. Good job, Walt. Oh, look at this place. Wow. Such a different vibe. Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? Wait, from Don Hong's vision or his nightmare? Those two were there, and Blade was there too. So maybe he did escape. What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are oh, you she looks... to divine their true intentions? She oh look at that hair. Wow. Bushwang. That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? <laughs> <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, 
You'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Wait, what are you up to exactly? Xinyuan, <gasps> did you let him escape on purpose? Oh, me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Mm -hmm. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Sienjo. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. <laughs> on that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fushen. Interesting. <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. General, Diviner Fu wants the General's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable. But her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. I can understand your impatience. And I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people. Especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? <laughs> I'm saying you need to have patience, Yan Ching. Governing Xianzhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate oh. is broken. You are my most trusted aid. And there are some things that I would only oh, he's mad. to you. <laughs> Speaking of which, Yang Ching. <laughs> oh, he's long oh, gone. <laughs> Whoopsie. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. <laughs> my fear is that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. Poor guy. <laughs> Madame Yukong has asked me to look after you. Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. I don't mind that at all, actually. Funny enough. The Skyfaring Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrichor Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Are oh, you asking me out, girl? Thank you so much. Not at all. Though I'd appreciate it if you mentioned to Madame Yukong that you got a warm reception from me when you next see her. <sighs> Better to be busy than idle, I suppose. Ooh, well, here we are. I feel sleepy already. The sun hasn't even gone down yet. Oh, what? But we've done a whole day's work. What's the sun playing at? It felt like we spent the whole day in the Palace of Astrum. Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. She was not happy about us. Oh, I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. <laughs> I mean, not that Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. <laughs> Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madame Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. 
The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Sky Faring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Old girl? You can't say that. I say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a work hard, play harder type, known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Sienjo so that all of you enjoy your stay to the I mean, forest. that's that's nice of her. At she least specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, just let the innkeeper know. The commission will oh, Marsh is so house. happy. <laughs> <clears throat> As our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves, right, Mr. Yang? <laughs> we should focus on our objective first. Seeing as Helmmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. Ooh. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the Okay, they only got the last part? That's it's pretty... That's lucky for us. <laughs> Is there anything special about what she said? Don't let her words distract you. That's the sound of a device. A device? Uh, which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same, but for the craftsmen of the Artisan Ship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The general okay. sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Now, get some rest and prepare and yourselves what's for the that? operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. Interesting. Let's take advantage of the rest. It won't be easy to track down Kafka the Stellaron Hunter. She seems like a pretty hard woman to get involved with. Oh, let's let the Express know how we're doing. Yeah. More importantly, let's see how Don Hung's doing. <laughs> Ask him what he's up to. Then tell him we're having loads of fun. March, are you missing him a little bit? Let's text him. Hey, you guys doing all right? Failed to send? March and I doing missions. What? It failed to send. Bad reception? <laughs> Not long ago on the Astral Express. What is wrong, Don Hong? You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. Are yeah. you worried about those two? Welt is with them. They should be fine. <sighs> Himiko. Did you keep a copy of the Stellaron Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? Sure. Oh, no, what's gonna happen? 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? <sighs> what exactly are you Stellaron Hunters trying to do? The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <sighs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Stop! Oh! Oh, that's the Blade guy. Do you know him? The Sienjo is in danger. This man, he... Um... If he's on the ship, then Welt March and her... 
Everyone is in grave danger. Whoa. What? Why? Is he connected to that past you want to escape? Past? I... I can't leave them down there. It's just... I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. Is there anyone who doesn't carry around a past burden? She may not remember it, but even a girl as carefree as March has hers. We tread on a path that is hidden from us. The things we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down, but they also give us strength to continue the journey. Try not to dwell on it, Don Hung. The express. I'm getting really intrigued right now. Its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. I'm really curious about what's going on, to be honest I'm about him. Capable of looking after the express. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. I agree. And you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? Of course he is gonna. I don't like where this is going. Wait, what? 